Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This was too good an opportunity to not make a video. I had the idea of just, you know, putting these three Hot Toys quarter scale figures, all from the Dark Knight trilogy, on the desk at the same time with their boxes behind them. I think it looks absolutely spectacular. So I just had to make a video. I'm going to uh, just shoot this all in one take and upload it, um, upload it straight onto YouTube so that it uh, will eventually process in full 4K and you can... Uh, you know, click the 4K option and get the full glory of what is before us right now. Three official Hot Toys quarter scale Dark Knight trilogy figures. The first one released was the the Dark Knight Rises Batman over there, which is pretty much flawless in my opinion. I know uh, I remember in the early days when it was first released, a few people cancelled those pre-orders because of uh, certain issues to do with the proportions or some such. Uh, me personally, I, you know, I don't know exactly uh, proportion-wise what the issue was, but it's good enough for me. I got the Enter Bay Batman cape on him because I just like the way that one flows better. Uh, I think it was Wayne's Butler. Shout out to Curtis, Wayne's Butler. Hey, dude. He um, suggested maybe dyeing this Enter Bay cape uh, even more black, which is a good idea because it definitely needs to be done. But I just love the material and the way it just pushes into the uh, the slots on top there. It definitely could do with a nice uh, black dye do uh, job. So I will get on that. Thanks again, Curtis, for the cool idea. And then they released the Batman Begins, which, uh, you know, full review and unboxing and all that stuff's on the channel for everything you see. So go ahead and check that out. And then finally, they released the quarter scale Heath Ledger Joker from The Dark Knight. And recently uh, pumped out some videos on this, did the unboxing, the true light review outdoors in the natural light, the full in-depth review, which turned out to be quite in-depth indeed. It was 52, 53 minutes long or something like that. So I thought best to do a bite-sized review separately. That one's about eight minutes long. So you've got a long in-depth review of all kinds of stuff in there. And then you've got the quick bite-sized review, which you can just watch on the fly and just, uh, you know, get the main gist. And I just did the big pose session. That's the video that I uploaded before this one. It was a lot of fun doing the pose session with this figure. It really made me like it a lot more than I did when I first got it. I mean, I always liked this. Uh, very frustrated by, like I said, the issues I had with uh, features being taken away uh, for this particular release. But it still looks absolutely incredible. And many of the poses I managed to put him in looked so good. Uh, every time I did one, I was like, okay, I, I just want to put it on the shelf now and leave it like that. So I'll have to uh, try and recreate some of those that you saw in the post session again later when it comes time to finally put this guy on display. I'm still not 100% sure where he's going to go as far as, you know, displaying in the room. I'll figure that out and you can be sure I'll show you once I've got that done. But yeah, very, very happy to own all three. They look incredible together. Just make sure you're watching this in 4K. I know it takes a while to uh, fully process in 4K. Once it goes live on YouTube, it will probably still only be in 1080p for a good hour or two, sometimes even three, four hours. And then it finally uh, is watchable in full 4K madness. So I do display my Batman Begins uh, with the first night out kind of look, with the Bruce Wayne head with the uh, balaclava or ski mask over the top of the face there. There's a, you know, quite an in-depth video on the channel about how to protect his skin from the black dye to prevent any uh, staining. So he's all safe and secure under there, which is a great relief. And yeah, there's those bases. They're not very consistent with the, the Dark Knight Rises base. That one was more frustrating because, uh, you know, he's got the rocks here, so you can never really have him just standing straight. He's always got a have his foot placed in a kind of awkward position but then they started getting a little bit flamboyant <laughs> like i've said before i don't mind the bat so much i wish it wasn't there but you know that's kind of cool it's in keeping with uh, the intro to the movie and all that stuff and this is you know very in keeping too with the character i just wish it was an optional magnet system you know just just give us the option that's all i'm saying you know for the actual base part very like, uh, well, very much like this one. 
And I very much like that one too. It's a bit tacky for a high-end collectible, if you ask me. Like for some reason, that doesn't seem so bad because of the nice kind of classy rough finish and the look. It looks like marble floor or something. It's very cool. Then it gets a bit more tacky here, but that's obviously very classy and cool. But um, yeah, you know, what are you going to do? Minor complaints. Minor complaints for uh, pieces like this. It's next level stuff. I mean, like I said, doing the post session, taking pictures of this Heath Ledger Joker, just, you know, starting to uh, come around to, you know, the sculpted hair and the very, very vibrant purple coat. But it's all so damn good, you know? Even with those issues, I still forgive it. And it's like, yeah, I ain't selling this. So I know I mentioned before there was a possibility I might sell this once all the videos are done, but I ain't gonna sell this. <laughs> it's, it's just awesome. It's so much fun to pose him. And because of, uh, even though of all the layers of clothing he's wearing, because it's all material, you can go crazy posing this guy. And every one of the poses I had him in during the pose session video are poses that you could leave him in long term and never have to worry about a rubber suit getting damaged or anything like that. This figure is really good for that as well because of the actual kind of mesh material in between the armored sections, just like the film. So you can pose him pretty much any which way. As far, you know, as, far as the arms go, elbow bend, raising the arm up, uh, really intricate armor, just like in the film, two separate pieces on the one six scale version, well, at least on the DX12 or whatever it was, that was one piece. I don't know if, uh, if the armory version in one six scale has the two separate pieces as well. I'm not sure. But that one is incredible. And that one had moving eyes. So you can move the eyes any way you want on that one. Yeah, but then they took it away with the Batman Begins. Speaking of which, I'll just show you the cowl. Uh, this is uh, the Hot Toys Batman Begins cowl. But it's actually on a NECA body and cape. Because I wanted to be able to do cool posters like this. Which you can do with the NECA figure. Uh, but that is the actual Hot Toys head sculpt there so the eyes are stuck in place you cannot move the eyes so they took that feature away which just baffles me you know it's such a cool thing to be able to do with one of these figures i mean especially they know people be taking pictures of these hot toys and by taking away the moving eyes system it really limits by a huge percent you know your options as far as how this is going to appear in your display but either way they really did a good job with the um the cowl on this is very thick very beastly and uh, that is the NECA cape, like I said. So it is a bit of a dust magnet. It's really uh, quite bad at attracting dust. So I give him a little clean from time to time. But I just had to balance him sort of leaning back just while I robbed his base. Which I, uh, you know, this is the base I usually use for that one back there. So I'll give you a few more angles. I do feel a bit bad about not setting up or at least showing at some point this figure in its full Batman suit kind of glory, uh, complete with a custom cape by Jackson XU. So I may very well, because I've only got about a minute and three quarters left right now because uh, shooting it all in one take. So it goes up in 4K on the Samsung Galaxy phone. So I've got a 10 minute limit to film. So I'm about to run out of time, but I am tempted thinking about it to... Uh, completely change his look to possibly the Bruce Wayne head and the Hong Kong, um, you know, sort of jump sequence when he leaps off the top of the skyscraper, get the backpack on him or the pack that holds the cape in place, get the, uh, the sticky bomb gun thing, completely change the look for him, set this guy up totally as the Batman look. And, uh, well, I don't know if I've, I've taken that coat and jacket off so many times over the past three days since doing the unboxing, the review, and especially the post session, on and off, on and off, on and off. So far, luckily, I haven't had any buttons fall off or anything like that. I don't want to tempt fate. Don't want to tempt the figure guards to lightning bolt my butt for uh, pushing this thing too far. I've already pushed it pretty far, to be honest with you. And those of you that have been keeping up with the videos, you know it's true. So I might just change this pose, but I'll probably leave all his garbs on. Uh, but I may come back at you later today because the lighting's so lovely this morning. They're just lit up with natural light really well. So I will possibly bring you another video later on with the figures set up in the uh, completely different looks but thank you all so much for the uh, wonderful support on the videos in the form of just tuning in and watching uh, leaving me your comments and liking the video some of you even shared it i really appreciate that because it just helps them get out there a little bit and yeah thank you so much guys glad you've been enjoying them that's what i'm here for to uh, try and keep you guys informed with the figures you're interested in at least the ones i uh, managed to pick up anyway but i'm running out of time 
back soon with more videos. Take it easy.